we are going to be learning about HSC verbs. These HSC verbs are very important for the last HSC examination. So the secret of getting ahead is getting started and these are HSC verbs you do need to know in order to answer the questions fully in the HSC exam and get the most marks that you can. So the HSC verbs with the asterisks that come up on these slides are the most important to understand for biology alone. Account, now that's more of a mathematics uh, verb, so I'm going to go through and focus on the HSC verbs with the asterisks. Analyzed questions are usually worth around about eight marks. It's a very in-depth HSC verb to understand, and you need to know that how to answer it. So for this analyzed word, it's identify components and the relationship between them, draw out and relate implications. So you need to write a very detailed answer here and often it's around about one page long. Apply, appreciate, assess. Now with assess, you do need to know how to make a judgment, for example. In your HSE exam, they may give you, for example, a practical um, experiment and they may want you to assess the results or assess how they're actually completing that experiment. And you can make a judgment and say that's a, a very poor experiment because of this, this and this. So you do need to explain why you've made that judgment to get the full marks. That tends to be a four to five mark question. Calculate can also be in biology, even though it is a mathematical term. They might get you to calculate something based on a graph, for example. Um, it means determine from given facts, figures or information. So you do, may need to calculate something in the biology exam. Do bring calculators in the bio exam as well. So clarify, classify tends to be a biology term. However, it tends to be covered more in the prelim syllabus and not the HSC syllabus. Compare. Now this means to show how things are similar and different. So you need to, for example, an apple and a banana. Mention how they're similar, so the similarities, they are both fruits, but also mention how they're different as well. Their colors, their textures, um, their size, etc. Compare tends to be a four mark question. So you tend to need to make two similarities and two differences to get the full marks. Construct contrast, critically analyze and evaluate. This one's another biology term. And for this one, you do need to um, write in depth the good and the bad um, in detail about what you're actually critically um, analyzing or evaluating. Evaluate means to make a judgment. So when you make a judgment, you need to back up your judgment and you may need to use examples to get the full marks. Deduce. Define. Define is only a one mark question and it might be define homeostasis and when you learn that term in biology, you'll understand how to answer that question. So you need to state the meaning and identify essential qualities. Demonstrate. This tends to be a three mark question and you need to show by example. So it is really important to get your examples up and running for the HSC. Describe. Now for this question, it tends to be a three to four mark question. You need to provide characteristics and features and it also includes giving examples as well. So if I was going to describe an apple, for example, I would describe that it comes in different colors. It's red or it's green. I would describe that it's sweet in flavor and I would describe its texture or even its size. So there, that's a good way how to describe something. Discuss. Now this can mean the advantages and the disadvantages of something, but it can also mean your argument for or against. So when it comes to a topic which you'll be learning about gene therapy, um, because of the ethics of gene therapy, there are reasons for and against gene therapy. So you do need to understand what is the reasons for and what are against. And you need to put both reasons, not just one. Distinguish. Now this means to tell how something is different from something. So if the, the banana is different from the apple, you can explain how they're actually different. Evaluate. This is another around about six to eight mark question. You do need to have your own judgment for this one. So you need to explain your judgment, give examples, and make sure your answer is in detail. It ends up being around about a page in value. Examine. 
explain. This is a very common biology question and it's around three to four marks for each explain question. It talks about what, why and how. So you need to explain what it is before you're actually explaining how it works. Extract. Now this one you may need to extract information from um, results for example or even from graphs and it is very important to know what, um, how to extrapolate information from graphs. Oh, extrapolate, that's the next one. So to understand how the graphs actually, the trends of graphs, you need to extrapolate the information from the graphs. So identify is a one mark question. It's again a very simple answer. Draw, inquire into and draw conclusions about. Justify tends to be four to five marks and you need to explain your reasons of why you've decided you're supporting an argument or conclusion. Outline tends to be dot points. So sketch in general terms, indicate the main features of something. Predict, this might mean predict the future, predict what's going to happen in this experiment and why do you think that's going to happen? Propose, that's also proposing an idea. So put forward um, an idea for consideration or action. Recall might be meaning to recall a past experiment. Recommend, provide reasons in favour. Recount, summarise, synthesise, and that's about it for HSC Biology. So look at how many marks a question is worth before you actually just start writing. Understand the HSC verb so that you can answer the question completely. For example, discuss, provide the advantages and disadvantages or reasons for and against. Now give examples to support your answer as well. Examples will always give you more marks in your HSC. Thank you and that concludes HSC verbs for today.